Now, when I started looking for better ways to stream and with AMD graphic cards, the advice I got was use more bitrate or stream on YouTube. It'd be the same whether I asked people or I looked it up. So I became discouraged and started just streaming with the best quality I could shake out of that card until I found an alternative. But then I dug deeper. I found out the best possible settings inside of OBS to use for streaming, recording, and clipping from my AMD card. Now these are the best settings I personally have found and tested for streaming to all streaming platforms on a mid-tier single PC setup. If you are curious about my specs, they are the following. So I'm just going to run down some of the basic settings here and uh, do this as quick as possible for you guys. No nonsense, no BS. Go to settings, stream, ignore streaming service uh, recommendations, press apply, go to output, make sure your output mode is advanced. Video encoder is going to be AMD HW H.264. Rate control is going to be CQP. Um, this is going to be better. It's more efficient. CQ level 12, keyframe interval 2, preset quality, profile high, max B frames on 1. Now, for rate control, most people say to use CBR or controlled bitrate, but herein lies the problem. If you are streaming with an AMD card, you should choose CQP or constant quality profile, and the CQ level will determine what performance and quality the stream will be. Now, the lower you set the CQ level, the higher the quality, but the more resources you draw from your computer. I personally have this set to 12, although I would recommend setting this value anywhere from 12 to 24, as these are the best values I have found. You're gonna go to recording, make sure this is used same as stream encoder, audio, I need a bit rate, leave that alone. Then head to audio, uh, disable the desktop audio, mic auxiliary audio, use whatever microphone you're using. Video, use 1080p for the canvas size and the output scaled resolution. Then uh, right after that, output scaled resolution. If you're going to stream in 720p, make sure you use the bicubic downscale filter advanced process priority should be high that's all of the basic settings okay just a quick rundown of some things inside of your scene that you can do that will help out um, use game capture whenever you're capturing a game uh, display capture adds more latency if you use game capture it is just better don't have game capture and display capture on on the same scene it messes uh with stuff and adds latency it's other stuff um Make sure you have capture audio beta on your game capture. This is important because we disabled the audio earlier. Uh, for browser scenes, make sure that you have the shutdown source when not visible and refresh browser scene when it becomes active. Um, on for every single one of your browser scenes, you want to do this also for your media sources, your images, and also your cameras. So I have it on my camera as well. Deactivate when not showing. Use hardware decoding when available. Press OK. Make sure all that's good. And then for the last little tidbit, what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure we have sources added for, you know, Spotify or Discord and all these things added with the uh, application audio capture. Then we're going to go to the advanced audio properties here. Then uh, essentially I have it set up so it's better for recording the multi-tracking. Um, so this is going to split the audio and make sure you don't get copyright claims on Twitch. Your Spotify is going to be ticked off of two right and then ticked off of everything else except for if you want like you know to uh add spotify in your recordings i don't usually so i have that ticked off only have it on the first one now the first one will be what gets sent out to twitch right the second track will be what gets sent to twitch's vod so if you don't want discord or spotify on your twitch vods or your even your mic on twitch vods then you can turn that all off um, and then I have it staggered in a way where it's three for my mic and aux, four for my game capture, five for my Discord, which is currently the application audio beta. Um, essentially, what that does is that will split it into tracks. So when you put it, any of your recordings into an editing software, it will have different audio tracks. So close this. Uh, you want to go to settings, go to output, and then Twitch VOD track. You want to make sure it's clicked on to make sure this is checked and make sure this is clicked on to then you press apply and then for recording same thing audio track three four five and six just makes it so the uh the audio track split great good press okay i have a couple of plugins down in the description these are the ones that i use the most the ones that are most important 
uh, region of interest editor. This makes it so it prioritizes bitrate around your webcam. Super simple to set up. It's a ton of videos. Uh, encoder preview, output preview is so you can test the streams that comes with the uh, region of interest editor. Then you also have the OBS menu, custom window docs. You get to add stuff like Spotify or Discord and stuff like that into your OBS window. So it's not all separated. Easier to keep track of things. Uh, that's pretty cool. Then also gradient. And inside of the gradient thing, I also have the filter uh, scroll. So that way this is a scrolling thing. So you get the animated webcam border around my webcam. Um, and then that's essentially it that's essentially all that i have set up for my uh settings if you guys have any questions or if i left out something make sure to let me know down below i appreciate you guys please follow my socials i stream mostly every day at twitch so please tune in sometime there and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Uh oh. Strange portal bone. Oh yeah, that. I'd got three. Okay. That was fucking you. Holy shit. I didn't even. I didn't know, like I I was getting ready to.